Hello guys and welcome to episode 71 of my Total War Warhammer 2 playthrough playing as Ikiklaw leading Clan Scryer to world domination. Today we're going to be hunting down Rulek here. He previously attacked Zlan Hirpek and we absolutely wrecked him. It was awesome. Arkstorm held out and managed to defeat him. I am going to have to rebuild Arkstorm's army but our first move is I guess to level him up and then we'll be attacking shortly after. I'm going to go for the piercing shots upgrade there and then we're going to grab our warlock engineer. Probably go for the overseer buff and then the Eshin sorcerer. Or if I want Skitter Leap, we'll just get the Spread Corruption, that'll do. Alright, and let's grab Arkstorm and finish off this army. Oh, we got an ambush. Perfect. Goodbye to them. We'll take the food. And I guess we can carry on now. We can kind of go and take back some of these settlements. I can't take it this turn. So I'm just going to invest the time in grabbing some Skaven slaves to hold our front line. No Arkstorm leveled up again. Expeditious Endeavor is probably a good way to go. Yep, we'll go ahead and do that. Make no, him nice and speedy. Bosses. Max out Overseer. It's and the Eshin Sorcerer order. already max out Spread Corruption. I guess we could do the upgrade to Brittle Bone. The minus melee defense is actually pretty good. Minus 40 melee defense is significant, that's for sure. Anyway, let's have a look at Ikit Claw. We're going to go through all our armies from top to bottom now. Konkata in our way. No contest. We'll take that. Ooh, our Tomb Wheel's very low on health. Alright, we'll occupy that. Thank you very much. Upgrade it almost immediately, pop in the Rattling Warrens. Next turn we'll go for the attack onto the Citadel of Lead. Olsess. He is heading down south. I kind of feel like he should head north rather than come all the way down. We've got so many armies here that are going to be going south towards the Greenskins. But I don't think we really need another one. We're going to have to start stacking up armies that can take on Nagarond. So, yeah, I'm actually going to send Olsess up instead of down. Over to Transform. Transform's going to take us over to Tor. Looks like this is one we're going to have to play out. So let's jump on in. Should be a relatively simple battle. Skaven Slaves might get chunked a bit on the walls by their infantry. Black Art Corsairs and the Witch Elves yeah, will <laughs> do a lot of damage to Skaven Slaves. But I guess it will probably be the Dark Shards on the walls first of all. And honestly we might not even have to go through the walls. Like If I deploy on the left hand side here and we make sure we destroy these towers, we should be fine. I think I'm just going to do that. I might just deploy in front of these towers. I don't know if in front's a good idea. These trees are kind of in the way though, annoyingly. Uh, let's go ahead and put these here so they can fire through the middle of the trees and then we can have these further back that can fire over the trees. We just need to make sure they're actually in range to hit the towers. Uh, it looks like they might have to move forwards regardless, so we'll leave them there. Alright, Orb Dr. Zales come over here. Uh, we may as well just have most of our army over here. Okay, start deployment, start the battle. Shoot that tower. We're not even manning the right tower. Right, they're going up onto the wall there, so we definitely want to destroy that tower ASAP. I'm probably also going to hit the gate. I 
That tower better not kill our catapult. I would not be very happy. Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay. <laughs> Good. Alright. So now we'll get the plague called catapults to go over here. Uh, these can just point in this direction and either shoot the gate or the tower. I'm not sure. In the meantime, we'll get the gunner runner slingers moving over here. And start moving forwards my infantry. I guess the warp block to Zales could probably do pretty well from this direction. Killing a bunch of the uh, dark shards on the wall there. They probably have a clean shot from here. We'll let them do that. I'm also lining up the catapults to do that as well. Although I might have that one hit the black arc corsairs behind the gate. Oh, if we hit that shot, that would have been really nice. I'm just hoping that we don't shoot our catapults. I don't think we will. Oh, good hit, good hit. Very nice. I see about just annihilating this Dark Shard unit. The great thing about Warp Block to Zales is they're so accurate that they, they fire individual units. Individual models in each unit. I actually really like the armor colors of Cecilia Tor. They look awesome. Unit's almost completely dead. Oh, they are now. <laughs> Damn. I don't know if we can shoot the gate, but we'll give it a go. That looks like we can hit it. It's fine. Uh, the Witch Elves have moved up onto the wall, so we'll kill them. I don't have very good missile resistance, I don't think. Oh, if they're not facing in the right direction, anyway. Now, this is kind of ridiculous how much damage we're doing. I might just speed things up. Is they're just standing there and taking it. Take out the next unit of witch elves. Take out the unit of dark shards. We've got loads of ammo, so we can just do this all day long. Honestly, this might just win us the battle if they stand there. And the uh, Black Arc Corsairs have now come up onto the wall as well. They are all getting very low. Uh, usually I don't really like choosing it like this, but I will let our snipers do their thing today. And we've pretty much run out of ammunition, so we're going to have to go ahead and get up on the walls, unless my rattling guns can do some damage as well. I doubt it, I don't think they have the range to stand back and actually hit these guys. I mean, we can give them a go. No. The angle's not right. 
Okay, um, we'll just go ahead and uh, start climbing. Let my slingers hit the black art course in the meantime. We'll have the warp grinders go for the gate, along with the assassin and my lord. Because we do still have magic available as well. I can also just drop some menace below on things to do some damage. I guess one nice thing is we um I completely mind blanked there. <laughs> Don't mind me. <laughs> I don't remember what I was going to say. I got distracted by the uh, warp lightning coming out of the <laughs> warlock master. I thought he was on a different mount. Let's go ahead and just throw down some magic in here. Get these dark riders if we can. Actually, this is a good place for a warp lightning. That's going to do plenty of damage. Very nice indeed. Absolutely obliterated them. Right, if we drop the brass orb on them, we should be able to use the menace below to keep them there. And honestly, that would kill a lot of their models. We take down the gate. Yep. Here we did. Alright, and we go. Alright, that's victory. <laughs> Just like that. Just had to tickle them a little bit. <laughs> But please excuse my brain fart <laughs> during that battle. I have no idea what I was going to say. I can't remember. <laughs> Alright. Plenty of kills for those warp block Gisales. And Zildratora is ours. One step closer to wiping them out. Let's go ahead and occupy that. And then we just gotta deal with the re rebellion. Oh, my assassin's maxed out. Acorn can go and get Iron Spike. That's gonna be an easy auto resolve. And yeah, I believe that's them destroyed. Yep. Another faction out of the picture. And now the ancient city of Quintex can really start pumping out some cash for us. Or should we start upgrading these settlements? Doors upgraded there. We'll do arcane generators as well. And we're of course going to need the Taskmaster's platform. Alright, who's up next? It's going to be Brom. Brom is... Probably best off heading towards Wolfric. Because then we can actually make Vermich worth using. Don't know if I want to... Hmm. Or march, because then we can avoid attrition. The other reason I'm going to march is so that I can come on land nearby and we'll be able to reinforce each other. Okay, over to Faderaif. So Faderaif, we got to choose now whether or not he's a army that goes up or down. I'm not entirely sure if we need more armies up here. We've got Ikit Claw. He's probably going to take out those two. We've got these two armies that are still raiding. Address me as... We've got probably some armies popping up in their back 
line here. I'm going to make the building that produces an army for us. Now that we have the upgrade that makes uh, that building give us storm vermin, I'm going to end up like demolishing these units or these buildings and, and getting something else. So, yeah, we'll do that eventually. So, yeah, Fader Rife. Does he need to go up or down? We got one there. We got two here. Is that it? I was moving Olsess up as well, wasn't I? Yeah. He was hidden by Fort Ostrosk. Hmm. Be nice if I could hide the settlements. So that I could just see armies. Don't think there's a way for me to do that. Uh so that's yeah, that's four armies. Just thinking we got one sweep around the top, one to push through the middle, a couple to come around the bottom. Then there'll be four armies sweeping across here. I think that's enough. I'm more concerned about this side. I mean, maybe we could have Fader Rife move all the way over here to help out push into Nagarond. That's going to be the toughest push. Down on the bottom, I think because there's so many different factions here, it's not going to be particularly hard to wipe any of them out. All of them are very small and broken up, so... Yeah, we'll pick them apart. Let's send another army up here. I might even just jump onto the water so it's faster. I don't know if it is faster doing it that way, but... Maybe a little bit. We'll head over there anyway. Okay, uh, let's look at Stretch. Stretch is definitely heading south. I'm actually going to have him sort of march towards Kazran so we can wipe him out. The assassin can get the fleet footed. That's good. Also, Tempov's going to need to build the public order building. Get the food building there. That's nice. And we'll push in the rattling warrens for now. Eshin may as well be pushing to level three. Good. Right, Staden's just going to be zooming down. Uh, Snitch, we were pushing up as well. So let's continue with that. And then these two crappy armies can move south. Although it might be worth keeping one here to help with public order in the meantime. Guess we still have Brom hanging about. Yeah, we'll have Brom just stay occupied. Transform can stay occupied. And we're going to start moving south with Skittis. Okay. Might be worth chasing or killing off Godrek so that I can just destroy the dwarves. Okay, over to Vomik. For me, I've got to get closer. How much do I need to ambush? 50%. Put him in ambush there. Okay, next up is Tretch. Ratch is still zooming around the top side. You can actually get him pretty far, I think. Nothing at the ultra has spawned, so we'll just carry on. Copper ball we've already moved. Down to Iqbal. And then just wipe out this army. Goodbye.
Oh, that's the spirit of the jungle destroyed. Does that kill off the defenders of the great plan then? I didn't realize they were that weak. Like, surely Naka was somewhere. <laughs> that's crazy. Hmm. All right. Well, he's going to head south. We'll replenish on the way, even just a little bit. Over to Toxidon. Toxidon, time for him to take out El Calabad, maybe. Because Remimute can probably hit the Jalic Oasis. Depends if they're allied with anyone. They are currently allied, allied with Sudenberg, Karon, and Karazakalak, who we are all at war with. So, doesn't really affect us at all. Alright, let's do it. They look very weak. Declare war. Off we go. Give me that. Thank you very much. And I'm going to occupy it. Level 4, let's go. Jump into that. Gives us the ability to build up those walls ASAP. Kind of tempted to keep this so that I can push for the extra hero capacity there. Actually, that's not the right one. That's not the one that I wanted to push the hero capacity of. I want to push the hero capacity on the construction cavern. Definitely need this building for the food. Because I used up quite a bit of food getting that. And then I'm tempted to just remove this for now. I could also repair it though to reduce the global recruitment time. I think I'm going to go for a repair. Okay. That means we can take our Calabad and get ourselves some replenishment here. We'll take that at level 1 since it's a minor settlement. And we'll just stop upgrading it straight away. Good. Immortality. There you go, Toxidin. And for the Eshin Sorcerer. Gonna be Expeditious Endeavor maxed out. Okie dokie. Over to Olses. Olses is zooming down. It might have been worth checking, actually, if Underway was faster. In shadow. Transform staying. I'm going to move Matt in so it doesn't tell me to move him. Over to Liv. Liv's looking for the attack onto the Temple of Clinkin. I think the Mongols in the way, annoyingly. Uh, let's see. Maybe we can come round here. Yep, there we go. Perfect. Battle fight. Council demands. There's no walls, so this should be a slaughter. I don't know why the balance of power is so close. It's not like this guy's that good. Attack. Let's jump on in. Do some serious damage. And uh, when we take the settlement, we'll replenish. So that'll be good. And then Liv can join Arkstorm further south in order to uh, help secure this continent. This should be pretty simple. Honestly, the way that I have it laid out with all of the stuff in front should be fine. Uh, I'm going to keep... These like so on the flanks. But we're probably just going to annihilate them before they even get close. If they do get close, I'll have these in reserve behind. We've got a couple of Doom players that can zoom forwards as well. Could be no problem whatsoever. My Warlock Engineer can stand right smack bang in the middle. Alright, let's go. Nice kill the leader. It's a good, good choice. Probably try and take out the deck droppers. Uh, artillery needs to focus on larger units. Let's 
Uh, I also need to make sure I kill off the uh, bloated corpse. Uh, please do as I say. Is there a hill there? There is. I'm just gonna have some dudes help deal with that. I didn't see that hill. There we go. That gets rid of that. Let's push forwards and just attack the depth guard with pole arms. Almost killed the zombie pirate. Deck cam mob. Cool. I'm just gonna have these hit the deck droppers. Okay, Storm Vermin going in there. It's all good. Let's focus the Warp Lock Gisales on their leader. Carve those deck droppers out of the sky. Damn, absolutely wrecked. Let's target all artillery on their leader. You should die very quickly. Yeah. They're gone. Easy peasy. We get a little bit of damage on our storm vermin. They have shields, they're fine. I don't think they actually took many losses, it just tickled us a little bit. That is the Temple of Glenkin under our command. Do I want to upgrade this? Probably not. We're just gonna Upgrade it with the growth we already have, and the Awakened are now destroyed. Okay, so that's them dealt with. All right, from there, I think I'm just going to head south straight away to help secure the rest of this land. Actually, we can head over here to Lantla. We'll go ahead and do that. Uh, we have this army heading down here. That can take the Pox Marsh. I don't think the Defenders of the Great Plan ever do anything uh, when... Spirit of the Jungle's dead. I think they just kind of sit there. Uh, they do have quite good garrisons, but that's the only thing we really need to be worried about. And even then, I'm not really worried. Uh, Wapatek is coming down. Uh, gonna need something to deal with this army. That's a battle. I'm probably going to avoid it, but it's not. We're going to do Power of Rage. It's going to give us Mathlan's Blessing. 25% physical resistance. Very nice. All right, let's carry on down. I keep clicking on Transform. I do need to level these guys up, actually. Acorn. Where is he? Just the leader of clan rats, isn't he? Uh, or Skaven slaves. Yeah, we'll just do the life is cheap. Why not? And over to live. Knows who his boss is. Envoy could be useful because I do want to get the confederation with Skrulk, who is somehow 
still alive. This rat is no fool. I wonder if he'll go for a peace treaty at some point. Let's have a look. Greetings. You seek a plague lord, and I am Our attitude is approving. It, or improving, should I say. Uh, mainly due to military actions against the defenders of the Great Plan and also killing off the spirit of the jungle. So, yeah, I'm hoping we can fix that and maybe get a peace treaty in there and then maybe go for the confederation soon after. There is the trade agreement there available with Kemri, but I'm going to avoid that because we're going to be attacking them soon. I guess I could take it anyway. At this point, reliability rating really doesn't matter that much. Other than for the Confederation, actually. So maybe it does. Um, Queek. What are we going to do with him? The AI like really wasted a lot of points on this. Uh, we'll go for thick-skinned. Buff up that defense. And we're going to move into here. I'm going to start raiding. I don't think we're quite ready to attack the Greenskins. Mainly because I don't have anything protecting these settlements. Yeah, these all need walls. Something we definitely need to do. Don't disappoint me, me. This guy needs to move for sure. I don't know if it's worth moving the 50% and ambushing. Probably not. I think we're better off just moving as far as we can. I will not disgrace my ancestors. And then recruiting more. No idea what we should recruit. In a warp grind is probably pretty decent for merging with some of our infantry. Frontline infantry is going to have to be Skaven slaves alongside the clan rats with spears, so we'll do that. The only other thing this army is really missing is artillery. We don't have any at the moment. Maybe we could just have more warp lock to Zales. Poison with mortars would be okay, but they'll probably kill more of our own guys than anything. A couple help it abominations would be good, but we don't really have time to recruit them. So I think I'm just going to go for a couple more gutter runners for now. Becoming a bit of a botched army, but we can always fix it at some point. And maybe we just won't fix it before the end. Who knows? All right, we're going to keep recruiting into Mormal's army. The Arcstorm seems to have stolen his thunder a little bit. I guess we kind of just leave him there then. Yep, he's fine. We'll move him in and out of the settlement. And we'll carry on from there. Be nice if the list didn't keep popping to the top every time I move something. That's really annoying. Right, Bail Quint. I'm going to go to Nagarond. And I think we're going to start a timer. I'm going to create the bomb. The Doom Sphere. And we're going to blow up Nagarond. I could also do Vermintide, but I don't think that's worth doing. That's going to take one turn. So we've got to spend the time to do the deeper tunnels and the murder holes first. Otherwise that will get revealed immediately. The only reason I'm blowing up Nagarond is because it'll be fun, not necessarily because it's the optimal thing to do. <laughs> right, it's Thryn. Uh, yeah, we're going to pop the plague into Black Pyramid and Nagash. There we go. That should annihilate a lot of these high level units. Uh, maybe we can just go and attack it soon. Good job, Thryn. Let's continue with Mormal. 
damage walls. So we'll just carry on south. Keep having a good look around. Uh, I'm not sure I want to try and attack that guy, just in case it backfires. He's my scout, so need to keep him going ahead. Remember the mute, might as well jump onto the water and come over here as well. Because he's not doing anything useful up there. Over to Mechanic Gear. I'm going to keep an eye on this army. I'm going to assault the uh, units of this guy though. He's got five feral manticores. Hmm. Something. We failed to assault units unfortunately. Trying to assault units down here. That was a success. Good job. Upgrade that. Could get another assassin. Strategist is nice. I'm going to put this one in the army. The other one I was maybe thinking about putting in the army, but more teched out just to be on the campaign map, so we'll do that. Okay. Any other heroes? We've got so many. Don't think I missed any. Do you have a commandment available at the Northern Great Jungle? And that can be probably explosive planning, although public order is going to be pretty rough there. Titan Peaks, definitely efficient planning for now. Master Mark, we've still got construction going on, don't we? So that's reducing cost of stuff. Uh, let's just keep upgrading all this stuff. I don't know if upgrading the nest nurseries to max is the best use of these slots. Might be better to just build up a hidden lair or another weapons dump. I think I'm going to do that. King's Glade can upgrade. We'll just do it because we can. Vulture Mountain. Walls and public order, please. Uh, that might as well upgrade to level 3. Look bad. Needs public order and to upgrade. Balzanvil can push to level 5. And then we have 30k left. Upgrade that to max. That will increase our income a little bit. Push the Rattling Warrens at Averheim. I think the growth buildings are almost doubly important at places or provinces where you only have two settlements. Because uh, it's very limited how much growth you can get. How many settlements can help you with that. Uh, so we have the construction cavern there. Let's put in another weapon stump. And here we definitely want the meat sites. Public order is always good. Uh, I could go for the brine. I'm going to go for the arcane generator though. I think that'll generate more income total. And that'll be it. Cool. Let's move on to the next turn. See who comes our way. Last defenders. They're doing a runner. We did do a lot of damage to their army and they didn't replenish much because they raised the settlement instead of actually taking it. Vacua is on the water over there. Uh, I'm not sure if that's really a problem for us at all. I think so. Like Nagron's going for the Citadel lead. Ooh, okay. Moving an army right next to us. Thought they were going to declare war on me for a second. Grief doing their thing. Clan Pestilence is nowhere to be seen. Followers in the Gash declared war on Sudenberg. Ron. Karazakrak and Lakua. That works out really well for us, although that Lakua army and uh, the Lakua, they annihilated Nagash. 
<laughs> oh, it's funny. It's too funny. Right, where are these armies going? Come on. Eventually, these armies have got to attack something. Oh my, really? <laughs> this is actually a battle where they might win. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um... I guess I'll take all the menace below that I can get and we'll jump on in. <laughs> I'm just gonna have to kite him and just keep dropping clan rats on him until he dies. I don't know if I took too many, probably did. It doesn't matter. I'm kind of uh, caring less about food these days. For so long in this campaign I was trying to keep it maxed out so I didn't have to deal with public order so much. But kind of got to the point where it doesn't really matter because we're getting so close to the end of the campaign anyway. Although saying that we do need to pay attention to our victory condition which is to spread Skaven corruption uh, which admittedly at the end of the of the world domination will probably take a little while to take effect. So <laughs> yeah we might not actually complete the victory or the campaign victory conditions until the end of the campaign which is quite funny. Um, like until we own every single settlement on the planet. So, <laughs> yeah, there we go. All right, we're just going to keep moving around all over the place. Just keep kiting him. Really no point in uh, wasting any troops. I'm just going to spawn these. I'm going to have these skirmish with Kazran. We'll stay close to the Dwarf Warriors, but yeah, we'll just um, not get attacked by Kazran. From the taking a surprising amount of damage. These poor dwarves are just constantly going to be under attack by rats until they're dead. They can try and fight to the death, but that's what it's going to be at the end of the day. Death. Constant rats. We're chipping this dude a little bit. Not really that much though. He is tanking a lot of those shots. Each of them does like one damage or two damage. Yeah, it's like two damage a hit. <laughs> oh good. Gotta keep cutting him around. Keep bringing in more clan rats. Till they run away. They must be pretty low now. Let's do one more. That gives us five to use on the Lord. Oops. Almost let him attack us. Alright, we're going to have these guys spawn there. I'm going to have these go and chase down those guys. Okay, here goes nothing. I'm going to start wailing down their lord. It's going to take a seriously long time. Clan rat. 
Okay, they are gone. But I just keep chipping him. Just moving them so they surround him a bit better. I'm hoping to have enough guys. Oops, I spawned them wrong. If I start charging in from all directions, it might cause the leadership penalty. This just helps at all. His leadership's getting very low. Speed it up. Okay, he's recovering. Move back. Call another unit. Have them engage him. And then it's going to be an all-in. Alright, here goes nothing. Looks like he's doing alright. Leadership's falling a little bit. Come on. Okay, I feel like breaking off a couple of these is probably a good idea. Keep these engaged. Maybe try and hit him with some missiles to give him that leadership penalty. I don't know if we can very easily. Right, let's just charge back in again. This could be really bad. Come on. We can get him. He's got so much leadership. <laughs> it's really tough. Uh, let's make sure we move these guys out again. And we can charge back in. I don't know if that's really making a difference, honestly. I don't think it is. Unless maybe, like, we pull everything off. I don't want any of my dudes to rout. Like faster and stronger enemies nearby, he's exhausted. It's got pretty much most of the penalties that you'd expect. I'm just going to have to pull back units that are close to routing and charge them back in. This is ridiculous. Come on. They've got 1,600 HP. If I invested like this much food and just don't win still, it's going to be savage. Hmm. 
Mm, I don't think we're going to beat him. Oh. Killed too many. Can kite him a little bit. And do a bit more damage, but my missile damage just doesn't do enough. So low on leadership here. The Skaven slaves is running up the back of him. They're doing no damage. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> Come on, we can do it. Get that charge bonus in there. Get the debuff. From the magic. I don't know if that does debuff the magic, but... <laughs> it's so close. It's so close. Oh, no. <laughs> These stupid moments in this campaign just make it great. I'm just gonna go for it now. I just don't even care anymore. Yeah, we lost. Cool. <laughs> he got 406 kills. That means he's probably gonna get the settlement back, but it doesn't really matter too much because we can just kill him next turn. <laughs> I just wanted to win that. <laughs> All right. They've got our building back. Whoa. <laughs> what will we do? Like next time we just order resolve and they're dead. <laughs> they're really going to move all the way to the Bay of Blades. Hopefully I can see what's in that army. Because then I can choose how much I need to send back. Interesting that they're being aggressive though, when they only have a couple settlements left, I think. A hell of a lot of factions with no armies. <laughs> or like one army. Yep, there we go. Karon's been destroyed. Dark Elves took them out. A noise problem. Uh, let's destroy the demon for the public order. All right. Loads of traits gained. And that's it. We're on to our next turn. So, uh, shame we lost that battle, but it was good fun. Uh, next time around, I will wipe out the dwarves. Uh, we've got both of their armies in line of sight, so we can hit them both. Uh, we will probably end up at Nagron, at war with Nagron at some point, but I'm probably going to wait for this building to build up, so we'll start working on that soon. Uh, but that's it for now. Hope that you guys have enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.